Um, this is a, a letter to my sister. I just, yeah, I want to read it. Okay. How is it that another unarmed black man is shot by a white officer? How is it that we find ourselves in the same place? How is it that the message is not sinking in amongst police foot soldiers and how the frack is it that the captains and police chiefs are still allowing the white persecution syndrome to penetrate the rank and file? How is it that an underage white boy with an assault rifle dangling from his scuffed up body jogging directly at an assault force of police officers after killing two people, injuring one and opening opening fire in a crowd disobeying county mandated curfew and gun controls laws without one of those equally armed police officers stopping to harass, interrogate, or restrain the pimply little frack. It's like they're not even trying to hide their blatant racial biases. It was so sickening to watch. And I feel so powerless to help change anything. I can't be the ally I want to be. All I can do from here is vote. But what I want to do is proactively turn voters away from Trump values. How are there so many people on the wrong side of this issue? Last week, I watched each night at the Democratic National Convention so emotionally inspired by the platform and representation of the future, an image that seeks to unite a country that was founded on the principles of unity, faith in a fair and inclusive future that seeks to address social inequality, climate change, health care, and foreign policy. I've heard heartfelt stories and speeches witnesses state-by-state -state activism and cried from pride instead of anger or pain. Now, just a few days later, we are back to riots on the streets. Deadly vigilante, vigilantism, racial disparity, super spreader events, and an overall literal, literary of verbalized lies, litany. Oh. An overall litany of verbalized lies representing a delusional alternate universe completely void of being grounded in the day to day. As exhausting as the last four years have been, this is equally and overwhelmingly exhausting. Medical studies should be conducted on what kind of cell damage Trump has caused on people like Colbert and myself. Just listening to him strains my very well-being. If you thought that your letter was a downer, mine is nothing but a Debbie Downer rant with, the, with less of the Kavanaugh spittle. When I hear Democrats' messages combined with my mentality and life experiences, I can't understand how people hear those messages and their Pavlov response is to regress to their most childish nature and petulant behavior, lying because they are afraid of the truth. Blaming because of a, self, a sense of self-preservation. How do they look at Democrats and see fear? We all live our identities, but when did the personification of our identities become so toxic? I hope one day our letters can be filled with our adventures, achievements, small talk, gossip, sex, books, or film. One day. We'll live in a future for us all. No going back. Just forward. Now, my sister may not look like me. Well, neither of my sisters look like me, but at least one of them shares my nose. We may not have the same biological parents, but our parents fell in love. And from that love, I fell in love. And I'm thankful every day that my sister, she, came into my life. So this is a letter to her because I, I'm afraid for her. Some days 
I know how careful she has to be. I, and I have a big mouth and I get into situations and I realize that she could not and she does not have the same privilege. So, um, thank you for listening to this. Black Lives Matter, please, for those of you who don't understand where this movement is coming from and why it exists, that somehow your identity as a white individual is being threatened or being attacked for just being, this isn't about you specifically. It is about a culture that has existed for too long. And you just, just listen to stories from some of these people, understand the pain. They're not trying to attack white people or your lifestyle. They just don't want to be shot and killed in the streets anymore. If you care about your family, just remember they care just as much about theirs. And some of us don't all come from all white families. You can love people from every race, every religion, every culture. And I love my sister. And if anything were to happen to her, please heed the voices of those on the streets. Stand up for what is just and right. <laughs>